Greetings and welcome to another exciting episode of Let's Play Overlord with the Raising Hell expansion. We've already had quite an exciting adventure, haven't we? We've rolled over Melvin and his useless halflings. We stomped through the Elven March and killed Oberon with only a common call to stop me, which wasn't even his own doing. We have taken the mighty citadel of Heaven's Peak from the mighty Paladin. And my ambition cannot be slaked. I shall invade the Dwarven lands, take their beer and their gold, not necessarily in that order, and I will toss any Dwarven resistance aside with my trusty minions. But first, let's go shopping at Ikea. Hmm, so peaceful. Let's have a look at our treasury, which is currently 15,000 co coins. I suppose it's gold. The inflation must be massive. Alright, let's see what we can spruce our place up with. A lot of stuff. Alright, let's focus on the most important stuff. Blue minion equipment. Yeah. Right, now and now we can actually put in other stuff. Uh, the botanical garden for Rose, of course. That's very sweet of you, sire. Some nice statues to liven up the place. Glad to see you think about your mistress's needs. Plants, of course. That will brighten the place up. And we can. Oh. Good. The tower has to send out the right evil message. Whoops. <laughs> um. Improve my throne. Um. A light walkway. I've always wanted one of those. I have enough. Let's see, I can do the. Uh, I'll do the fireballs. I think you have a flair for this. And I'll take the flaming statues. I've always wanted one of those. And look at that, we're already out of money. Mistress Rose requests that you join her in your private quarters, sire. Ooh, exciting. Our massive gold reserves reduced to a single bag. Yeah. Much more homely. Home like. Nice garden. And at Rosa's private quarters. Master! Son, I think the time has come to tell you about the finer points of running an evil domain. Let me see! Stop pushing! I have diagrams, charts, and a pot of tea on. Do come in. <laughs> now you take the... Nice. And some of... And you squeeze. Total annihilation. Get something sharp, right in the pencil maneuver. <laughs> and that's how you do it, sire. Good luck. Ow! Ah, oh, wait, no, 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 no. <laughs> All right. That was silly fun with the proper amount of innuendo. Let's look at the decorations downstairs. See, now I have a reason to invade the Dwarven lands. Because I need to refurbish more stuff. Most overconfident master. Shut up.
and this is all still here. Ah, oh, it's nice to see the little Nash's back. And just for those curious, what happened to that Iron Maiden we found? It's right here. It was quite peaceful without them. Right. Oh, thank evilness. Let's see. I didn't uh, let's view all the quests. Detour my earwax. I want to take a brief detour to the Mellow Hills just to see if something has popped up. Guess not. Unless I'm looking in the wrong place. I'm no I know this quest is here. I just don't remember where it's triggered. Never mind. Time to toss some dwarfs. Really made out of gold, that would make a very nice profit for me. But alas, they are not. It's mostly dirt and sheep. And another annoying quality that dwarves have is they like explosives. Oh, those can come in useful. Uh, but more often than not, you'll not notice them until it's too late. In which case, you really be glad of that chasm, master. Rock giants don't take kindly to anything squashier than they are, and everything is squashier than they are. Yeah, that much is true. Alright, this way then. Here come the dwarves. Dwarves like anything that fires or burns, and especially <gasps> explodes. Make that the downfall, sire. I <laughs> most certainly will. Well, it has a nice boom, but it's not really useful enough to kill one dwarf. Let's get in there a bit. Now I can see two marksman dwarfs. Quite annoying. Right. Let's be a little bit more tactical about this. We need to destroy the houses again. Which 
try not to get overwhelmed, because they will have a tendency to do that. And these dwarves are not very difficult. They're just annoying. The dwarves don't really become dangerous until they have had beer. Blues. And there is a lot of beer in the dwarven lands. Now get me that gold. There's a house down here. Oh, and up here. Red. On it, Reds, stop running Blues. up front. You're not melee. Browns. My Browns are. You choose all. Right, where's the next one coming from? Ah, down there. Ah, so much gold. Hmm. But I'm thinking I think I'm gonna replenish my supply of minions a bit. Before I let myself get totally overwhelmed by impossible odds, because there is a lot, there are a lot of dwarfs, a lot of annoying beer drinking dwarfs, which is why I have left this region until the last. Well, not exactly the last, because the last region we can't get until we beat this one, but. You get my point. And let's kill these sheep so that my minions will not get distracted anymore. And some extra free brown life force. Right, which houses are still active? Just the one here in front. And that one. Fun destroying these houses. It's just difficult to see which ones you've already had. Oh, look at that! Something that belongs to me. Ooh, an object. I like objects. Where's the door? Break it. You come from blues. Oh, well, I destroyed all the houses here. Which one did I miss? Probably destroyed this one. Blues. Anyway, let's continue to loot and pillage. And there'll be a lot of pillaging to be done here. Your mana has been increased. Yay. Now bring back my minions to me. This way, numbskulls. Alright, up the road to go. Two more dwarfs. I've never seen the point of slugs. They seem to exist merely to be squashed. 
These creatures may be deadly, but they have no love for dwarves. Perhaps that can be of use to us. It certainly can. Of course they don't love us anymore. And these ones will just be in the way, so we'll just close this pit. The only good thing about slugs is that they sometimes drop green life force. And that's about it. What's down here? He is no dwarf. Let us out! Let us out! Quick, before the guards return! Please, we still have some strength left. The Mother Goddess has forsaken us. Do not do the same. The Mother Goddess has forsaken us. Do not do the same. Oh, shut up. Elves. Bless you, stranger. Yeah, worship me. Now get out. Alright, these should be escaping. To where I do not care. Because they are elves. And elves do not concern me unless they give me gold. Or other goodies. Such a proud race. Reduced to servitude. <laughs> Sometimes even gods have a sense of humor. No, well, maybe. Right, pile on the dwarfs. Well, that's just stupid. Attacking straight into dwarven lines. I do see you a new spell for us. Those pipes channel beer straight from the brewery. It's potent stuff. Mm-hmm. Like minions, dwarves are never more ferocious than when they've had a drink. So, watch out, sire. Just make these go on fire. Get back. Beard up dwarves should be exploding when they are hit by fire. Anyway, that's why you don't attack dwarves high on beer. Because they will hit like a truck. destroyed most of my browns, which is annoying. But I'll have to replace them. Yeah. Brown, I just now have I don't have the army now to take them. Of gold. No matter how much they mine, it does not satisfy him. But still we need to press through that area to advance because I need that spell. Because I believe that's a minion spell, and my current level of minion spell is uh, this one. Which would give me level 3 spell. Uh, I'm not entirely sure of this. I believe the level 3 spells are based on your karma rating, which for me is still 0. So I should get a good power. But that will all be found out next time. Till then, till then.